Okay, so I've had some people, um, they were asking me about, uh, kind of getting into some more details as far as me using nukes for queen rearing. Um, personally, it's not my preference. I, I would much rather, the larger the population of young bees that you have and the more you can have them focus on taking care of those queen cells you've grafted, the better. The higher quality queens you're gonna have, that's a well-known fact. However, because we've been building up our numbers this year, what I've been doing is using strong nukes to uh, rear queen cells. I've been doing a maximum of 30 grafts, 30 cells per builder, just so that I'm not, and also, so these are four frame nukes, so you have eight frames, jam-packed with bees, jam-packed with bees. First uh, thing I do when uh, getting a nuke ready to use for grafts is I take the top box off and I shake all of the bees down into the first so I know the queen's going to be down there. Also, uh, what I do is I look for, so I have a couple of beautiful frames here of cat brood that were on the uh, top or in the top box and so I'm going to probably I'm actually probably going to put those up here with uh, with the graphs uh, the nice thing about cat brood it's not going to take resources away so if you have open brood right next to your graphs uh, obviously the open brood is going to compete for resources uh, with the graphs that you're wanting the bees to focus and put their resources on. Capped brood, uh, especially if it's getting ready to hatch, is actually going to provide young bees that uh, produce jelly more efficiently, more easily, more naturally, and so that's going to help with the nutrition towards the queen cells. So the next step, I've got all the bees shaken down into here, is I go in the bottom and see, so since I'm going to be putting a queen excluder on top of this, on top of the first one, the queen's going to be confined into four frames, so I want to make sure that I'm not setting up, because these nukes are strong already, I want to make sure I'm not setting up a situation where she's going to run out of room to lay and is going to want to swarm. So, that's where I start looking through these bottom frames to see what the brood situation is. This is all brood. So what I'll probably do, shake these bees off. Put that aside. And I am going to give them a frame of drawn comb. You could also give them foundation. And I'm gonna put that right in the middle of the brood nest so that that gives her some room for laying. I could even, uh, I could even do that with a couple of frames, but uh, for right now, I'm actually just gonna give them that one frame. And so the next thing is for us to put excluder on. Uh, the bees that have congregated on here the chances of the queen being in there are very nil, so, but I'm still going to brush them off, get them to start moving down, because obviously this is, <laughs> this is one of my breeder queens, and so I definitely do not want some rogue queen to somehow slip from this box into this box, but I do need to put an excluder across I'll be right back with an excluder okay so we're putting the excluder across that put these back together
There are some bees that are on the side of this box uh, that I was shaking down. You want to make sure all those bees, so I'm shaking them in front of the entrance of this one, so that if it just happens, sometimes queens can be in really weird places. For the most part, they're pretty predictable and where they're at. But every once in a while, you get surprised. So, I'm going to need room for a one frame feeder, room for my graphs, and then also these two frames of brood. So, the way I'm going to configure this, that this frame of brood is going to go to a uh, to a colony that's uh, a little bit weaker but healthy help them kind of get up to speed I'll place that later but kind of give you a close-up here so uh, just took this out of the uh, this uh, that nuke there has got 30 cells that they're capped already so I'm not gonna worry about feeding them so here's my configuration and the bees that I've shaken down I'm gonna give them some time to come back up but uh, these are two brood frames my graft is gonna go here and then I'm also going to give them syrup uh, we've got a good honey flow going on but I uh, like I said, you don't want to cheat them on resources when you're grafting queens. Uh, you want them to be able to have as much resource as possible to put towards uh, jelly and uh, just giving, excuse me, giving great nutrition to that queen. So anyways, that's how I set them up. Um, one of these days I'll do a video of grafting. Uh, a little foreboding at first, but a lot of fun and you can save yourself a ton of money. And also be in control of how you breed your bees. Really important to learn how to do. Have a good one.